Hello everybody, mega goal number five, third secondary, and this is, is the last lesson. 11, form, meaning, and function on pages number 30 and 31. Let's take a look at the objectives. The first one, the present perfect. The second objective is the present perfect versus the simple past. And the last one, we will be asking about personal experience. اثنين راح نتكلم عن المضارع التام ضد الماضي التام واخيرا راح نتكلم عن البيرسونال اكسبيرينس اسكينج هاو تو اسك اند تيل كيف الواحد يتحدث ويسال عن التجارب الشخصيه Now please move on to page number 30 and 31 and let's recall what's, uh, let's recall the title of this unit which is rags to riches on pages number 30 and 31. Let's start with the first objective. الهدف الأول, which is the present perfect. Let's take a look here. So the present perfect, okay, formation, it من has and have and the past participle. اللي هو has أو have, وانتو عارفين has مع المفرد عادة و have مع الجمع. Past participle اللي هي التصريف الثالث من الفعل. For example, has or have eaten, has or have broken, okay? And you have to memorize the past participle by heart. لازم الواحد يحفظ ال ال التصريف الثالث للفعل يحفظه يعني حفظ. You should memorize it by heart because it's very important. So eat, ate, and the past participle is eaten. Okay? So this is what we mean by the past participle. اللي هي التصريف الثالث للفعل. Okay, so has, have eaten, has or have broken, has or have spoken, has or have, uh, for example, told or uh, has or have uh, what. So this is what we mean by has the past the present perfect. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the uses. The first one. Okay, we use the past perfect when we want to talk about actions that started, okay, at an indefinite time in the past. في وقت غير محدد في الماضي. And it is often used to talk about time, okay, to talk about time from the past to now in a person's life. عادة نستخدم المضارع التام للإشارة إلى أن شيء بدأ في وقت غير محدد في الماضي وعادة نتكلم عن عن أشياء من الماضي لكن موجودة للآن في حياة الشخص. For example, let's take a look. So I have visited many places in Europe. Okay, so this is the present perfect have visited. Okay, oh, and this is started at an indefinite time in the past we do not know exactly when ما نعرف متى okay and of course from the past and it is still now present in your life يعني الإفكت الآثار موجودة للآن في حياتك okay so this is the first use of the past uh, or sorry the present perfect now the second one we use it as well to talk about okay a recently completed action يعني شيء انت يعني تم انتهاء من حديثا اوكي okay? recently completed action let's take a look here محمد عبد اللطيف جميل you remember محمد عبد اللطيف جميل from the first lesson من الدرس الاول he has contributed greatly to the government Saudiization program in the kingdom so here this is the present perfect has contributed okay so this action اللي هو الحدث هذا a recently completed action okay a recently completed action okay so this is the second use of the present perfect okay and i'm gonna just do like this if you want to, to screenshot now let's move on again to the next point okay so till now we are talking the present perfect also, we use the present perfect if we want to emphasize نركز على الاكشن Okay, then started in the past That started in the past and has continued until now And may continue until the future So, 
نبغى نركز على الأكشن إنه هو بدأ في الماضي واستمر ولل وممكن يستمر في المستقبل. So if we want to talk about or we emphasize نأك emphasize معناها نشدد أو نأكد على إن الأكشن الحدث started in the past بدأ في الماضي and has continued until now and may continue in the future يعني بدأ في الماضي استمر للآن وممكن يستمر للمستقبل. Let's take a look. Do you remember Li Keqing? Mm-hmm. So he has lived in China for all his life. So this is, okay, the present perfect. It, we want to emphasize, نبغان شدد, that the action started in the past and it's still now in the present. Until now it's present, يعني حاضر أو موجود. Uh, and it may continue till the future, okay? So this is the third use of the uh, present perfect. Perfect. So let's take a look here. So we use it to talk about action that started at an indefinite time in the past. وقت غير محدد في الماضي. Recently completed action. حدث يعني انتهينا فقط من مؤخرا. أو نبغى نأكد على حدث أو نشدد على حدث بدأ في الماضي وموجود continue till now موجود حتى الآن وممكن يستمر حتى المستقبل. There are a couple of time expressions, بعض a time expression that may be used, usually are used with the present perfect and they are for and since. Okay, so let's take a look and let's differentiate. خلونا نفرق بين the difference between for and since. For, okay, is used to indicate, sorry, the duration of time, المدة. هنا نتكلم عن مدة الحدث. For example, for two months, okay, for two, for a long time, for two years, okay, so this is, we're focusing on the duration, muddah, okay, min al-zaman, okay, while he, since, نستخدم since, usually, to indicate when the action begun, okay, متى بدا الايش الحدث, okay, since June, since yesterday, since last June, okay? So, منذ بداية الشيء, منذ, okay? Uh, okay, so this is the difference between for and since, and both of them are used with the present perfect, okay? So, this is what we mean by uh, time expression with for and since with the present perfect. Now, let's move on, okay, uh, to the next one. Okay, I'm not sure. Do we write it منذ or do we write it without? I'm not uh, good in grammar, in Arabic grammar, okay? Now, let's move on to questions with how long, okay? So, right now, okay, if you want to ask about the duration of time, المدة, or uh, is this when something began, you can ask using how long, how long. We have here two sentences. The clothing store. Okay, let me just number it. This is number one and this is number two. The clothing store has been in operation since 1975. And the clothing store has been in operation for uh, 40 years. So this is the present perfect. Okay. And here we are ta- we are using since. نستخدم since. Okay. Mundu, يعني when something started, okay. Here we're talking about the duration, the مدة for forty years, okay. So now, if I wanna ask a question, I'm gonna use how long, okay. So uh, let's uh, let me just set the rule for you. So how long, okay, and then what I'm gonna use is the helping verb or the auxiliary verb plus the subject plus, okay, yes. The verb and then the con- completion of the question. So here I want to ask about the time. I want to ask about the time. So I'm going to start with how long. Mm-hmm. And the helping verb it is used, which is has. So here has. And what do you mean by the subject? The clothing store. So I can say here, how long has the clothing okay store and been in operation okay so here's gonna be been and 
operation of course you can answer the question with uh, since 1975 or for uh, 40 years طبعا you do not include the answer in your question ما ضمن الإجابة في سؤالي so now we talked about question with how long now let's move on to the next objective which is the present simple versus the present perfect okay and راح نقارن بينهم okay Let's start, I'm going to uh, right now explain to you when to use the present perfect and when to use the past simple. متى نستخدم الماضي البسيط متى نستخدم المضارع التام. We use the present perfect, okay, it's very easy, to talk about an action that happened in the past when the exact time isn't known. خلاص يعني ما نعرف الوقت متى حصل هو حصل في الماضي بس ما أعرف متى بالضبط so this is the present perfect okay we do not know exactly when it happened in the past ما نعرف متى حدث في الماضي so either it's not unknown يعني مو معروف or it's not important okay either or Anyways, while the simple past very easy, something happened in the past and we know the exact time. نعرف. So the exact time is given yesterday, last week, last month. So right now, you know the difference. Present perfect, something that happened in the past, but the exact time is unknown or not important. While the simple past, we know exactly when it happened. متى حدثت. I'll give you an example. So here, this is the simple. This sentence is in the simple past, while this sentence is in the present perfect. I took the test yesterday. So took is in the past. Okay, I have taken the test. So here, the first one, I took the test. We know exactly when yesterday, but here it's unknown. But it's in the past. Okay, طبعا هذه في the present perfect وهذه في the simple past. Right now, I want to make a question. أبغى كون سؤال. Okay, here, if I want to ask about yesterday, okay, you are going to say, when did uh, you, أو تتذكرون, طبعا ترجع الفعل إلى أصلها, مع did take the test, طبعا, and the answer will be yesterday. I have taken the test, if I want to ask yes or no question, I'm going to start with have, will I تتحول إلى you, have you, وعادة نستخدم, some expressions or time expression like already طبعا انتبهوا ان ال ال is silent have you already uh, sorry have you already sorry it's not already sorry it's already okay have you already uh, طبعا الفعل يبقى كما هو لان ما دخل did او does so uh, taken the test okay so again it's pronounced already Mind me if I mispronounce it by mistake. يعني يمكن خطأت في نطقها قبل شوي بس إني بالخطا يعني. It's not on purpose. Purpose. Now you know that yet, so far, ever, never, already, recently, lately, and once. These are time expression we can use with the present perfect. Okay. So just be careful and just differentiate between the present perfect and the past symbol okay واضح very easy okay so right now let's move on to the last objective الهدف الاخير which is asking and telling about personal experience sometimes you want to ask some people uh, about their personal experience regarding something and they want to tell you about their personal experience عن تجاربهم الشخصيه الذاتيه you can ask starting with this question have you ever Okay, so have you ever? Have you ever? طبعا لازم يكون هنا says that you have have لازم يكون فعل في التصريف الثالث ال past participle. Okay, so have you ever ordered? Okay, ordered yes, books online. You can answer. طبعا you can use the time expression. Yes, so far this year I've ordered. طبعا السؤال في ال present perfect تجي جابة في ال present perfect. Twenty five books online. No, I've never ordered ordered books online, and you can say I have bought online books. Uh, sorry, it has to be I haven't. So I haven't. This is wrong. Let's just me erase it. So just you can say I. Since that you have yet yet diamond to G, my nephew. 
so you can say i haven't okay bought and bought is the past participle from the verb buy okay so i haven't bought books online books yet so this is when you mainly want to ask and tell about personal experience have you ever been to uh, to spain have you ever been to europe have you ever visited uh, the middle east Okay, so this is mainly asking about personal experience. And remember, don't forget that after uh, have you ever, uh, it should be followed with the verb in the past participle. And you can include the time expressions as well in your answer. Okay, and uh, I have explained to you previously what are they. Okay, so now let's move on to the exercises. Okay as an application to check your understanding, okay? So let's take a look here. We have covered the present perfect simple and we talked about time expression with for and since and we have differentiated with them, farragna bainhum. And we also will ask questions with how long, okay? Now let's take a look at uh, the first question. Here you are asked, Hamad has had the same TV 15 years, okay? طبعا انا اخطات خطا والكل يخطا فيه ان انا ما قرات السؤال دائما اقول جزء من الاجابه قراءه السؤال now this is my bad my mistake حمد has had the same tv 15 years okay طبعا هنا طبعا duration of time so i'm going to use for now i've had my laptop last june طبعا this is i'm going to use here since when something began we've worked on this project a month for a month Okay, my friend haven't visited me. Graduation, you can say since my graduation, when something began. Now, let's move on to the next one. You are asked to complete the paragraph with verbs in parentheses using the present perfect or the present simple. So, either or, okay? Now, the son, uh, you remember Amancio Ortega. He, was, he is the owner of Zara retail store. The son of a railway worker, Ortega, is now Spain's richest man. When Ortega was, is or was or were or been, it depends. He worked as a delivery boy for a shirt maker and later became the manager of a clothing store. So here you are going to use the past mainly. So work, okay, work, and it become is became this is irregular and this is regular verb now let's move on to the next one طبعاً, we have already covered the past simple versus the prism perfect and also we have covered asking and telling about personal experience now let's move on and let's do this one as an example complete the conversation use the prism perfect and the simple past either or then practice with a partner. So mainly this is a conversation that you will have to practice afterwards after answering with a partner. Have you ever to charity? Have you ever, get the past participle, let's say given or have you ever donated to charity? No, I haven't. Okay, have you? Yes, I have. Okay, and I believe that you are capable right now uh, since that you have understood the the grammar points that we have covered, I believe, and I'm pretty sure that you're capable of answering the questions by yourself. Till next time, have a good one, but don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends, and if you have a comment regarding this lesson or of any kind, just leave it in the comment box below, and don't forget to leave me the thumb up. Till next time, have a good one.